We spent $10,000 on Pokemon collections. Was it worth it? Let's find out. All right, let's start off with the big box here. Very keen to see what's inside. Do the honors, Mitch. To start us off, we have the original base set binder. It's, it's very nostalgic, this one. Oh, look at the dust on this one. Multiple binders. Look at the dust. Yeah, you can see there's some age with that one. We did purchase a few childhood collections. Ultra Pro. <laughs> that we all had a folder like this, <laughs> covered in stickers. All right, so there's five binders here and all looking very different. We will start with the original base folder. Oh, wow. What a nice. beginning. What a start. We got base set we Charizard. We got Venusaur, Venusaur as well. Just here. Magneton, Hitmonchan, Gyarados, Clefairy, Zapdos, Polyrath. Let's have a look at the condition of these. Love how they've double sleeved them as well. Put it inside the penny sleeve. Looks very nice. Let's have a look at the back. Okay. That's very good. For this binder here, we weren't aware of the condition. Sometimes the gamble's just as fun. Let's keep moving. Oh, oh. wow. First edition. Okay. Magic Carp as well. Dratini. It <laughs> continues. Bulbasaur first edition base set. Two of the starters. Look at that. These are some of the most sought after commons in the entire hobby. Okay, the trainer's still first edition. Yep. Would have liked that Charizard to be first edition. The fairy doll. I know that goes for quite a bit. Okay, what a start. So we still have all these folders to go through in this video, including the one on top. Hopefully it's got... Oh, Ooh. okay. Wow, that makes me nervous. We'll go through these a bit later because we have a lot of different types of collections in this video. Now, before we get to the next binder, we're going to go through these stacks of cards here. Got Polarath, Evolution Hollows, Ninetales, Nido King, Zapdos. Another one, Magneton, Chansey, Mewtwo. This should have been a holo. Now these Evolution cards got me back into the hobby, so I always love to see them. Gyarados and Polyrath. All right, now with the premium cards, we've got Rillaboom Gold, Turbo Patch, Kabu, Kabu again, Salamence, Butterfree, and a Pikachu V-Max. <laughs> Check that out. And a Dragonite v Altar. You'll love to see it. Machamp EX, Ancient Origins, Dragonite EX. We've got more Evolutions cards here. And oh, look at that. The Charizard Holo. It's not base set, the original, but a beautiful reprint. Mega Charizard EX. Mega Blastoise EX, Mega Venusaur EX, and a lot more to go after that. I don't mind these break cards. Pretty cool. Ooh. And we're finishing off this stack with the EX Deoxys Reverse Holo Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Gorgeous artwork. Okay, now onto the second box, and I'm super keen to open this one. What's inside? Okay, now let's take a look. Hey, I see jungle. Oh, okay. I see booster packs. So it looks like we've got two original jungle booster packs. Nice. Unlimited. Unlimited. Platinum, Platinum Arceus. Arceus. Yes. Heart, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Triumphant. Plasma Blast. XY Flash Fire. And okay, Generations. Nice addition. And of course, we're going to open all of these packs in this video. We're going to start it off with the Heart Gold, Soul Silver and Platinum Arceus, and we'll open the rest soon. Very keen on these ones. Okay, let's go. I'd love to get a Legend card or even the Mew. That would be awesome. I don't know the chances of getting those two cards, but we'll see. Slim to none, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I don't know the card trick for this one. Nidoran. Spoink. Ghastly. Shupert. I like these artworks. Shupert. Aaron. Reverse Bell Sprout. And... Dragonite <laughs> non holo. Okay, now for the Arceus pack. I really wanted to open this one myself. So let's see how I go. Now Kurt's opening it, so we know it's going to have a holo or better. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get the Charizard of one of the Arceus cards, but we'll see. What would you do if I got that, Mitch? I'd not be surprised. Bagon, Burmy, Makuhita, Tangela, Baneri. Oh, we have an oh Arceus! My God. He did it. <laughs> Look at that. I told you. I wanted one and I got it. What would you do if I got that, Mitch? I'd not be surprised. Oh, check that out. Arceus. I told you. It always happens to Kurt. A god card. All right, sleeving this one up. That's a win for me, I think. Okay, so a bit of a curveball with this Pokemon card purchase. There were also vintage toys included. Yep, and Mitch bought this, so I actually have no idea what these toys are. I've never seen them before. I grew up with so many of these. So here we have a twin pack of the Pokemon keychains, and as you can see, it looks like it was an exclusive to KB Toys. These look huge for keychains. You'd have to put them in your backpack, couldn't put on a keys. We should open and wear these, what do you reckon? I might have to upgrade my Apple Watch to one of these. Yeah. I haven't seen one of these before. Pokemon playable. Looks like there's a little Snorlax inside. Looks pretty cool. It's Pokeball. Okay, we have a Charmeleon yo-yo. <laughs> Might have to rip this out. Yeah, we've got to test this one out. And here we have... Cyclone 2. What is that? It might be some type of Tetris game or something like that. I have no <laughs> idea. 
lastly out of the toys we have pokemon yahtzee okay and this was six dollars back in the day 5.99 surely worth more than that now now onto this dust covered binder that we actually <laughs> bought from a follower who messaged us saying they wanted to sell their childhood collection oh this makes me nervous Oh, check that okay, out. Okay, what a start. Right off the bat, <laughs> I see a first edition hollow fossil Moltres. Nice. Set the bar high to start. We've got Erica's Clefable, some Team Rocket cards here, a couple of non hollows, a promo dark version. And let's keep this going. Oh, let's go. A heavy hitter at the top there. We have a dark Charizard hollow from Team Rocket, a fan favorite. And we also have a first edition fossil Zapdos hollow hiding in the left there. We have an Articuna on the right side. Not first edition, but we still take it. What a start. Okay, a lot of promos on this side. We have a fossil Aerodactyl. Fossil Magneton Hollow. Nice. First edition, yes. yes. Well, what's this one here? It's the Arcanine promo card. Oh, another big hitter down the bottom. We have a Typhlosion T17, which is the rare and expensive one from Neo Genesis. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a base set Charizard Unlimited Hollow. Let's get this out. Have a look at the condition. That's not, it's not sleeved. Not sleeved. How's it look? Some scratching on the top. Centering's a bit off. Let's have a look at the back. The back actually looks very nice. That's actually not too bad. Very nice for a loose binder find. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all probably lightly played. I will definitely take it. I'm not putting this back in. I'm going to get this sleeved up just so I don't do any further damage. Okay, all right. Nice sloking oh, nice. Neo Genesis Unlimited. The Neo Genesis hollows in, they're just so good. We oh. have Mewtwo at the top, base set, Vaporeon Jungle Unlimited. A bit all over the shop with their collection. I was going to say, there's not much organization to any of this. Base Gyarados hollow, and there's a Shadowless Pidgeotto and a Shadowless Electrode. Nice. Oh, we have a Shadowless Polyrath base set, the original series. We also have a Venusaur base set. And we have a Japanese Rockets Moltres. Very sought after card. We also got a fossil dragonite unlimited i wonder what that one goes for in a 10 but it's probably going to be a seven in this condition cheeky little base set to clefairy is that a hollow jolteon yes it is nice another one of the movie new promos look at that we've got a much base set shadowless first edition you honestly don't see that too often and on the bottom we have another <laughs> neo genesis unlimited slow king so they must have opened a booster box or a lot of booster packs because neo genesis seems to be the theme yeah and they're mostly unlimited so we have a base hitmonchan at the top another base over here with the raichu got some more japanese cards I've seen a few of these black star nt promos yeah, you've got two there we've got japanese neo genesis for alligator another neo genesis card over here random pichu well check that. and then we have a <laughs> shadowless mewtwo from the base set look at that we have another mew promo we have a base alakazam and we have a gorgeous Ooh. couple of neo revelation cards one japanese suicune but an english unlimited ho-oh gorgeous not not to mention that but we've also got a japanese holographic charizard card it's got the symbol it's not no red Rarity. But it's a Charizard nonetheless. Exactly. Okay, now I see we've got a couple of the Gym Challenge cards. We have a Rocket Zapdos and a Misty's Gyarados. Gorgeous Ooh. cards. Love the artwork on the Gym series. Now on the bottom left, you can see some non hollow legendary dogs. But if you look to the right, I believe we see a hollow Suicune from Neo <laughs> Revelation. Look at that. Beautiful card. So that means we have the Suicune and the Entei. Unlimited hollows now. Hopefully we get the Raikou. Yeah. Now here we have a Japanese. Lugia from Neo Genesis. Cheeky little Blissey over here that actually goes for quite a bit in a 10. Yeah, I was going to say that actually goes for it's huge. Tough to grade. Yeah, we'll probably get a six. And then if you look at the top right, we have Erica's Venusaur Gym Challenge Unlimited. Mm, gorgeous. Any more? No more for now. And we have three more binders still to go through. Okay, we've got a lot more variation in this second box. Got boxes, blisters, tins. So this one, we've got a team up pre-release kit. This pre-release kit has four booster packs and it's got a pre-release hollow included. Okay, how do we open this? Rip it. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it. Okay, so I think there's a proper way you open this. There we go. Our pre-release card. Charizard. I don't know if you're guaranteed a Charizard, but we've got a Charizard. We'll take it. And the four packs. All right, let's see if we can get some tag team cards. This set is super popular. On par, if not better than Cosmic Eclipse. Ponyta, Cosmog, Voltorb, Squirtle, Spiritomb, and a Hooper GX. Not too bad. Not amazing. I lucked out on the Arceus Hollow, so I'm probably not going to get anything Down better than from that. Here. Yeah. All right, Amolga, Staryu, Puccina, Geodude, Paris, Reverse Torracat. 
Hey. Let's go. Pikachu and Zekrom GX. I just have to really quickly see the condition of this Charizard holo. Check out the pre-release holo Charizard. And after that, we've got some Shining Fates tins, five of them. We're going to speed through these, and I reckon we're going to get the Charizard. All right, let's see how we get in this first one. Come on, Charizard. Spinarak, Toodle, Cacnea, Morpeko, Snom, Dracovish, Shiny card, and a Thievul holo. Next pack, Horsey, Morpeko, Coffin, Yanma. Oh, Grim Snow V. Shiny Vault Full Art. I'll take that. What do you reckon? I think that was a good starting tin. I think we can do better. Nicket, Trap Inch, Yanma, Weasel, Eevee, and Hollow. Horsey, Snom, Spinarak, Q Font, Zarud, and okay, <laughs> get a V Max. V Max Rainbow Rare. I mean, does that sort of mean we're not going to get the Charizard or are we going to get two? I'm extremely happy with these pins at the moment. We have Rowlet, Shinx. A pinch, Yonma, Weasel, Morgrim, and a Cramorant V Max. Let's hit these final two packs. I like Shining Fates as a set. I think there are plenty of worse ones. Snom, Trapinch, Rowlet, Deden, Shiny, and a Cinderace V. Actually done quite decent from these. Yeah. Honest. I mean, for only five tins, 10 packs. Pretty much half have been hits. Ooh, I see Ooh. a shine in this. Qfon, Gossifler, Spinarak, Toodle, Cacnea, and a Charles oh like <laughs> What Are you thing? kidding me? Are you kidding me? I am so happy we opened all these. Oh tickets. my god, the last pack. <laughs> Look. You seen it here, folks. Oh, oh my days. Thank you for this collection. The Charizard V Max. Right, and this seller included a free Flareon Pop Toy. Right, we'll probably just be giving this one away. Now, check out what's in this bubble wrap. We have Call of Legends Blister Packs, the Kyogre and the Groudon. Look at that. These are pretty expensive these days. I'm probably not going to open these because, as blisters, they're worth a lot more, and I'm not willing to risk it, if I'm honest. Now, we have more from this Blister Pack collection. We've got Dollar Tree packs. Okay, here we've got Roaring Skies, four blister packs here. And we have two of the three pack blisters of Cosmic Eclipse. I've mentioned this before, my favorite set. And we have Brilliant Stars as well. Quickly open these ones, wouldn't mind another Charizard. I'm Broken Bonds as well. These packs here are so thin because there's only three cards per pack. With your luck, that's all you need. All right, I'm just gonna get all these out first. <laughs> all right, now I saw Pat from Deep Pocket Monster do this trick. Gonna stack them up and to save time, let's pray I don't cut any cards. If I do, that's hilarious. Oh, way easier. Nothing. We'll push pop. Nothing. Maybe we shouldn't buy these cards. Nothing. <laughs> and nothing. You could have cut straight through them cards. You probably should have. All right, we're going to get all these packs out right now. The character rares in this set are gorgeous. We managed to get a PSA 10 of the Pikachu character ourselves. Can we do it again? Grimer. Magnemite, Eevee, Lebebe, Sneasel, and a Gallade character rare. The first trainer galleries. This set was released in 2019 and still now. It's pretty expensive compared to the cards you can buy today. Sandy Gas, Feel, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantom, and a Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Look at that. Two in a row. We'll take that. How cool is the Mimikyu Pokemon? I love how her eyes are glowing as well. You see a Teddy Ursa sticking out there. Nose Pass, Litleo. Lebebe, Sveal, Victini, and a Victini again. All right, a double hit. Nice. Pack number four. Dealing, Golette, Dupita, Apom, Onyx, Reverse Eevee, and a Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff GX. Three yeah. hits in four packs. I was just going to say, like, my luck right now has been pulling the Charizard and getting that Arceus from Platinum Arceus. I'm keen to see the other binders we have. Togedomaru. Onyx, Whalema, Palpatode, Cricketot, Armaldo, and a Holo Como O. I think we're now going to open these Roaring Skies Blister Packs. Your luck's been pretty good so far. Yeah. I will gladly continue it. And I just ripped off part of the pack as I opened the blister. So, you know. Efficient. Started it off already. Here yeah, we have Swab Blue, Electrike, Dratini, Wingo. Bagon and a Mega oh, Rayquaza wow. EX. That's a hit we want to see. I can't stop today. He's on fire, I must admit. <laughs> All right, we're sleeving that one up. You honestly don't want to miss these pack openings. Considering it nearly lost half the top of the card with the way you opened it, <laughs> I think we'll love you as well. Can you imagine I just ripped through the card before? Okay, Pado, Bagon. Electrike, Taylor, Reverse Dunsparce, and Articuno. Never been so disappointed to pull an Articuno. So we knew exactly what was in this binder. So we're going to open it now and go through it, check the conditions, and see what we think. I'm excited for this one. 
base set <laughs> two. Look at all the hollows. This right here is a complete base set two set. Let's see, it's got all the mix of the OG cards. I don't know if the condition's amazing, but they feel really nice, but it might just be the binder. Got Mewtwo, Nido King, Zapdos, all the reprints. There were 20 hollows printed in base set two. The rest, I believe, is all the commons and uncommons. Commons and uncommons. But we still have one random vintage binder to go, and you're gonna wanna see that one. Okay, so we didn't forget about these two packs, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna battle each other and see who can get the better pool. Which ones do you want, Mitch? I'll take the Scyther. All right, you have the Scyther. I'll take Wigglytuff. All right, this is gonna have the pool anyway. Wigglytuff artwork. Now, I do know the card trick for this one. If I can get the Snorlax or the Vaporeon. This is what we're best at, <laughs> vintage pack openings. Comment down below if you've ever been a part of one of our vintage breaks in the past. One, two, three from the back. Guaranteed this is a hit. In the peak of nostalgia here, we have Rapidash, Licky Tongue, Primeape, Spiro, Oddish, Bellsprout. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pokeball, <laughs> Rhyhorn, Goldeen, oh, and a victory ball, non hollow. You should easily be able to beat this one. Can I turn my bad luck of late around? I lost the mystery pack challenge. Vintage packs are what I'm known for. I know, as I'm saying this, I'm like, what you going to get the Snorlax now? Dodrio to start. Weeping Bell. Weeping Bull. <laughs> right on. Goldeen. Meow. Mankey. Jigglypuff. Paris. Next card. Execute. Maybe one more. Eevee. Eevee. Okay. Nice. And we have. Vaporeon! <laughs> Let's go! What an absolutely. I'm, Let's I'm go. actually. I'm happy for you. That's a beautiful card. What has this opening in. been? This collection. I'm so happy we bought it. Vaporeon holographic. I cement my place at head of the table. And I see they've also thrown in a Hidden Fates tin here. We have four booster packs in this. And you know what? I think we're going to get the Charizard as well. The confidence is oozing right now. <laughs> if it was me opening it, I wouldn't even bother. Gyarados promo. Pack number one. We've actually opened so much of this set on stream. I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling the Charizard. Or the Umbreon. I'll take the Umbreon GX as well. Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, and the <laughs> Lycanroc <laughs> GX Shiny Volt. We'll take it. The man can't be stopped. Come on, we have Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Arbok, nothing. Nope. Final pack. And it's the Charizard art. I'm telling you it's a sign. Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, now we have another binder here. And a follower did approach us and said they wanted to sell us their collection. It is 300 cards and they wanted $300 for it. So he said, you know what? We don't want to see it. Let's just find out. Okay, we've got the trainer galleries here. Cast form, Melodic. Roserade Gengar, the artwork is just gorgeous. And we have more. Oh, nice Snorlax showing up. Jinx, Pikachu. These all seem like out of order. Oh, you got Jolteon. Very busy looking cards. Yeah, Deden. I'll take this. This seems like it's been worth it so far. You've even got the Charizard here. Got a lot of evolution cards. Umbreon V, Espeon V. Pikachu. Okay, I think we did very well for this one. Am I wrong in saying this? I feel like this is this is decent. At a dollar a card, you can't yeah. really go wrong. <laughs> We've got a lot of legendary cards here. Tyranitar, Zamazenta. Right, next one. Okay, picking up. We've got VMAXs here, V Stars. We've got the Duraludon VMAX. Marnie's Pride, Cynthia's Ambition, Lazy Can V. This has to be a good value binder. Three hundred dollars for three hundred cards. Leafeon V Max. That's more than a dollar. I know that's more than a dollar. Rayquaza, Gold. Pages of V cards here. Random trainer galleries. Okay, and that seems like it's it. I personally think that was good value. That's a win. Oh, yeah, that. Let us know in the comments what you think. I think that was good value. $300 for all of these. This will probably be a trade binder or maybe we'll give these away, something like that. And before we open these three packs, trust me, you're gonna wanna wait to the end to see this final vintage binder. I say we kick it off with Generations. All right, we have Shelda, Machop, Energy, Meow. Shelter Reverse and a Meow Stick. I'm, I want to say that's a hollow. Yep. It's got these fancy key prints on them. Oh no, there's the hollow. <laughs> what is that? Is that two reverses and then there's a Butterfree hollow? All right, let's see if we can get the Charizard from Flashfire. I know there's a few in this set. I'm pretty sure it's a secret rare. Could be wrong. Fletchling, Geodude, Stunky, Bergmite, Sandile. We have a Durant Reverse. 
A full wedding. Okay, nothing. You can't win them all, but we'll win this one. No idea what's in this set, but once again, I'm sure the good card will pop on the screen now. Ducklet, Remoraid, Solossus, Houndor, Dridigon, Bagon, and a Caracosta. Oh, and a, I don't actually know. Is that a good card? I don't think so. It doesn't shine, so it's not good. All right, and now in the collection, we've got a couple booster boxes. We've got Celestial Storm and Cosmic Eclipse, which I opened some packs for. These, I guess, will be used maybe for future breaks, future live streams on the channel, or future giveaways. So these are awesome to have. So we've got a Celebrations tin here. Nothing too special there. But what is good is this Celebrations UPC. We do already have one, but I don't want to open that. But this is another one we bought, and we are looking to open this on the channel or maybe give away one day. So make sure you're subscribed for the future on this one. This is definitely a collector's item. And this one has the gold Charizard and the gold Pikachu metal cards. And now we are onto the final vintage binder. We have saved the best to last and oh. we start with fire and just look at that we've got the team rocket dark charizard first edition inside a sandwich a venusaur base set and blastoise base set unlimited hollows <laughs> oh that's good to see we continue all right not okay. too bad we've got a first edition dark wheezing from team rocket here uh gym heroes unlimited surges fero i think we can do better yeah we we can pick this up we've got a base set nido king hollow there base set nine tails hollow it's starting slow but there has to be more value in here for what we pay we no, there is. Okay, hey. warming up a bit. Couple of hollow my champs. I've got a base set two, Alakazam. Team Rocket, Dark Slowbro. Misty's Tentacruel up there. All right, I feel it warming up. I know, because I, I feel like the other binder at the moment was a bit better, but we know that this is better. We've got the Gengar and Haunter. The extremely rare Dark Hypno Team Rocket hollow. <laughs> base set Hitmonchan. Chansey base set two. And there it is, oh. a shining magic harp, Neo Revelation. Check that out. That's two separate collections with Neo Revelation cards. All right, we have to see the condition of this one. Let's get this out. So once again, it wasn't sleeved, but it still looks to be in quite nice condition. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible. I don't know what's happened there? What? But that's not what we want to see. That's like, what is that? PSA 4 worthy with that? That's giveaway worthy. Okay, there we go. First oh. edition Gym Heroes, Blaine's Moltres. Nice. And then a Mewtwo base set. And we have a no symbol error jungle Snorlax. That's awesome. We've gone plenty of them today. All right, some, some energies. energies. Don't care about them. Trainers. Us. Any of these holo trainers? No. Oh, Japanese. Lapras, Flareon, Zap. Does Haunter, not bad. Ooh. Some more. Okay, here we go. We've got base Charizard, Japanese. Blaine's Charizard. Two big hitters there, Japanese cards. We have the Mew Hollow. There's a Sabrina's Gengar. Dragonite. A couple of Moltreses there. This is an awesome page of Japanese holo cards. And we continue. <laughs> Check that we out. We have Entei Neo Rev. Oh, nice. We have the Espeon and Umbreon from Near Discovery. Yeah, exactly. We've got the Slow King as well from Neo Genesis. Hey, Heracross. There oh, we go. Another we Suicune. See. Suicune Neo Rev. Look at we that. We knew it was floating around there somewhere. Yeah, and you've got the Heracross Togetic. Neo Genesis. Yep, and the Togetic. See, it started off a it's bit slow and it's picked up massive. We even have a Blaine holographic card here, Rocket Sneak Attack, Brock, and the other trainers. These are all first edition as well. <laughs> okay, we're picking up. We keep Dark going. Dark Raichu, Team Rocket. But don't forget this. Oh, we've got a first edition <laughs> Raikou. Neo Revelation. Oh, hopefully this isn't terrible condition. I yeah, want to see I'm this scared, one. I'm scared, I'm scared. Because in a 10, this is a stupid amount. But, you know, I think we can safely say it's not going to be a 10. Wow, the front actually looks really nice. Yeah, I was going to say the hollow is Centering pretty... is great. How's the hollow? It seems all right. At the back. Okay. Oh, that's way better than the magic arm. No shark bite from the back. <laughs> Considering this was just a childhood collection, it wasn't really taken care of. It's actually very nice. All right. Can we finish strong? We've got the P2 hollow near Genesis. Celebi, Dark Magneton. First edition. A couple of first edition Team Rocket hollows. Hey, can't forget that Dark Raichu secret rare. First edition Surge's Raichu. That's it. Oh, good. this Pichu looks like it's been How's chewed. that condition, everyone? <laughs> what do you reckon? PSA 10 on this? I reckon. Ooh. Okay. That's what we want to see. That is a row of cards right Let's there. go. First edition Dark Blastoise, Dark Charizard hollows. And Dark Alakazam. Trying to compete there with the other two. We've got some more Fossil and Jungle hollows. We've got a base Magneton. 
Magneton. That's what we want to see. I was very worried at the start, and I'm so happy it picked up. We're finishing <laughs> strong, ladies and gentlemen. Check out that. Base set two Blastoise. Rocket Scyther, first edition Gym Heroes. That picked up so awesome. I believe that might be the final page. Oh, a few little, few little snippets there. We're probably going to sell some of this stuff in our eBay store, so be sure to check those links in the description. And as always, we invite you to like, subscribe, comment down below your favorite item from these collections, and check out our other videos.